In today's cartoon story joke, we embark on a wild journey through South Africa's Nambiti Hills, where the Big Five roam and adventure awaits at every turn. But beware, for one Czech immigrant's obsession with hunting the King of Beasts leads to a twist so wild. Picture this, majestic lions. Meet the lion, the ultimate combo of fierce and fabulous. With a coat that's the envy of every fashionista and a majestic mane that screams, I woke up like this. These cats are the A-listers of the safari scene. Get ready to roar with laughter and awe. Meet the elusive leopard, the ultimate fashionista of the feline world. With a coat that's spotted to perfection and a knack for blending into the night like a pro, spotting these stealthy divas is like finding a needle in a haystack. Get ready to embark on a nocturnal adventure that's equal parts thrilling and stylish. Towering elephants. Why are elephants such elusive targets for hunters? Because they've mastered the art of hide and seek in the thick African bush. Plus, poke their babies and you'll quickly discover their not so gentle side. Sturdy buffaloes. Say hello to the African buffalo, the big burly bouncer of the savanna who didn't get the endangered memo. But watch out folks, these guys mean business. They're like the tough guy at the club who's not afraid to throw down. Meet the rhinos, the rock stars of the savanna, sporting some seriously stylish nasal bling. But beware folks, these horned celebs are in high demand. Especially the black rhino, the holy grail for big five hunters. Now, you might wonder, why are they called the big five? Well, it's not just because of their size, but because they were the most challenging and dangerous animals to hunt on foot back in the day. Imagine going toe to toe with a lion or facing off against a rhino. Talk about an adrenaline rush. But fear not. Nowadays, the only thing we're hunting for is that perfect photo during safari tours. These magnificent creatures have become a symbol of Africa's rich wildlife heritage, attracting tourists from far and wide. And why were these animals chosen, you ask? Well, besides being iconic symbols of Africa, they were notoriously fierce and cunning, making them the ultimate challenge for hunters. Many tales have been spun about the daring exploits of those who dared to pursue the Big Five. And let's just say, not all of them ended well. So next time you're on the lookout for adventure, remember, the Big Five are waiting to steal the show and leave you in awe of the untamed beauty of the African wilderness. And hey, if you're lucky, you might just spot them all during your stay at Nambity Hills. All right, folks, let's take a break from the wild and get ready for a safari of lofts. An immigrant from the Czech Republic joined a large international company and was transferred to the country of South Africa with all its natural beauty and its beautiful animals. After his first year in office, he took a two-week holiday and visited one of the country's national game park. Here he saw so many animals, but the animals that was the most intriguing for the Czech was the Big Five. Of the Big Five, the Czech obsession with the lion was born. He got totally obsessed with the lions and especially with the idea of hunting a lion. Oh yes, got it the king of the animal kingdom. All he could talk about the following year was hunting a lion. He saved all his money that year to finally buy him a hunting rifle and booked a hunting safari at a hunting farm renowned for its magnificent lions. Once on his safari, a professional qualified hunter called Bill was assigned to lead the hunt where this check was to kill this lion. Now a lion is one of the most dangerous animals to hunt and is part of the Big Five because they are the animals that are most likely to kill you when you try to hunt them. So Bill, the professional hunter's first point of call was to take the check to the rifle range to ensure that the shooting skill and rifle management is all in order prior to entering the bushveld. Here the hunter looked at accuracy, caliber of rifle and rifle management. Once Bill was happy that the check's skills and equipment was in order, he announced the readiness to go and hunt the lion. After walking in the bush for about an hour, they came to the point where they can see the lions in a distance. But the Czech had a very specific request. He does not want any backup shooters. He would like to be alone when he kills the lion. 
As he was explained the danger of his decision, the Czech made it clear that this is what he wants. So he was left alone to do the hunt. But after about four hours without hearing any gunshots, Bill, the professional hunter, got suspected and went to investigate the situation. There they found signs of a lion's kill, a shoe on the ground with blood on it, and a passport clearly showing it to belong to the Czech. As this was clear enough evidence, Bill decided to call the local police, which came out to investigate. As the police investigated the scene, they concluded that the monster would have to be killed, as a man-eating lion is a very dangerous situation. They also had to find evidence of the check inside of the lion to ensure they had the right lion. So they set of to kill the man-eating monster. The first lion they found was a female lion. The police opened fire on this female lion and killed her. They immediately slit her stomach open but found no evidence of the check. They continue with the search and come to a massive male lion ready to charge the hunting team. This was as dangerous a situation any of the men have ever been in. Everyone opened fire and they managed to kill the male lion. Upon slitting open the male lion's stomach there, they found what they were looking for. At last, the hunt was over. Inside the lion, they found the remains of the poor Czech. With that, the police had all the evidence required to close the case. And since that day, the phrase was coined. Your Czech is in the mail. If you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here.